we got to talk about Joe Biden, my lovely imps. Everybody knows that Joe Biden, a.k.a. Dark Brandon, a.k.a. Provo Joe, a.k.a. Brandon uh, Let's Go, uh, is our current president. And boy, isn't he a president of all time. Uh, he's kind of a boring president, to be completely honest. Uh, he failed the unions despite running on being the most pro-union president that has ever uh, existed. That's what he claimed. He claimed he's going to be the most pro-union pro president ever, and he completely failed to support the rail union strike. In fact, he uh, uh, explicitly squashed it. Uh, he has released tepid support for trans people, some positive, some negative. Uh, he uh, hasn't really managed to do all that much about the fact that uh, there was a literal insurrection that attempted to negate his election as president. He has barely managed to take action about that particular threat. Uh, Joe Biden's been an interesting and strange president. However, I have to be very serious for a minute and say, baby, he's coming back. That's right, Joe Biden has announced that he will be running for re-election. Yeah! Oh my God, can you believe it? Joe Biden will be running again? Oh my God, who can believe it? Who, who here isn't excited for the second term of Sleepy Joe? Now, some of you here are probably going to uh, uh, think that I was gonna say, that sucks. But I have to be 100% real with you, okay? I am so happy that it will never be Jover, okay? I am actually unbelievably happy that it will never be Jover. At least not for another four years. And let me explain why, because I know this is probably gonna be a hot take to some people out there, and I'm sure there's a lot of people who also uh, don't like Joe Biden all that much. Because the truth is, I don't really, I am not impressed with Joe Biden. But to be fair, I'm not impressed with the Democrats at all. However, until today, we had no idea for sure who they were gonna try to run against Donald Trump. Okay, and I don't know if you guys have been paying attention to the like uh, Democratic uh, Party's offerings for president, but everybody sort of assumed that they were going to try and run Kamala Harris. And I don't think that basically anybody would have lost against Donald Trump except for Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris has completely failed to excite anybody. Um, nobody, she, she does not poll well. She's incapable of public speaking. She's actually more boring than Joe Biden and Joe Biden falls asleep at the podium sometimes and has to be like woken up by a little prod, okay? There was basically nobody besides Joe Biden, but Joe Biden had at least until very recently, remained adamant that he was not going to run for a second term. And yet here he is. And it's actually very good news, okay? And the reason why it's good news is because there is no realistic other option besides Joe Biden at this current point in time. There is no Bernie. Bernie is not in the races anymore. Bernie has basically stepped out of running for the president. There is nobody else. There is nobody else except for Joe Biden and Kamala Harris versus Donald Trump. And Donald Trump has has the entire Republican vote right now. So uh, people saying AOC, AOC is not old enough to run for president. The Democratic Party, of course, being the gigantic failures that they are, have failed to uh, set up anybody else. The, if the Democratic Party was a competent political party, 
at all, then they would have been spending the last four years building somebody up. Up. They would have picked somebody, anybody, and they would have had that person in every single picture with Joe Biden. They would have had Joe Biden and him having drinks together. They would have had him and Joe Biden playing tennis together. You guys remember how it was um, with Obama and Biden? When uh, like when the election started picking up, the Democratic Party started pumping out all these pictures of Obama and Biden hanging out together, like the one of uh, of of Joe Biden of uh, Obama giving Biden the the little the little thing, the 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 medal, and them walking down the hall together with their dog, um, and all that stuff. The, if if there was any competence in the entirety of the Democratic Party, if the Democratic Party wasn't the most checked out political organization on the entire planet Earth, uh, there would have been somebody, anybody. They would have had somebody there that they would have been building up, but there's literally no one. They haven't done that for anyone. It's just Joe Biden. Or the vice president, Kamala Harris, makes a run for president. Which, again, I'll just say it again, the only person I think who could possibly lose to Donald Trump is probably Kamala Harris. Um, I think it should be abundantly clear why we desperately need to make sure that, that Donald Trump, it, and when I say we, I mean America as a whole, Obviously, individual people only have so much control. But um, Donald Trump for president, after what he's been up to for the last four years, uh, would be a disaster. It would be a true disaster. Like, can you guys imagine what would happen if Donald Trump took power after inspiring an insurrection? Can you guys... Can you guys imagine how insane that would be? Can you guys imagine the type of deranged shit that he would pull with no uh, a risk of recourse? It would be an abominable disaster. Uh, like, Donald Trump for four years was already a nightmare, and so many people have forgotten how bad it was under Donald Trump. Like... Under Donald Trump, trans people were just blanket banned from the military. He tried to put through a blanket ban on Muslims from immigrating to the United States. Donald Trump was insane. And Joe Biden fucking sucks. Don't get me wrong. This guy blows, okay? He's boring. He doesn't do anything that he says he's going to. He's milk toast. He's weak. He's completely failed to capitalize on the power that he had early on. It was pathetic. But Donald Trump running for president and winning would be so bad. And here's the, here's the other thing. It's still gonna be bad. If you don't think that Donald Trump isn't gonna do exactly what he did last time when he loses again, you got another thing coming. Uh, it, is, it is 2023, we are just about to get into the electoral season. Okay, everybody's going to be, the ads are going to start coming, the debates are going to start happening. It's, it's just about that time, everybody. You guys ready for that? How many of you were here for the last election season, huh? Can you believe that? I was streaming in the windup. And we're going to be doing it all over again? You guys are going to have to listen to the, the garbage, uh, uh, bur uh, uh, n never Biden bullshit. The Bernie or busting crap is going to come back. Oh, God, it's going to be so bad. But we're, in it. we're ahead of it. You all belong, all of you listening, all 500 of you listening to this show belong to an elite and special class of people. People who are currently listening to Demon Mama. You are already tuned into the signal. You are already tuned in to more based takes. And God knows we're not going to be wasting time this election season. We're not going to be wasting our time going back and forth with force the vote idiocy or Bernie or bust bullshit or Biden apologia trash. 
We all know that Biden sucks. And we all know that Donald Trump sucks worse, which means that we are going to be kicking ass for the entirety of electoral season, which means we're going to be able to push the Overton window to the left, which means we are in the unique position to take advantage of the disarray of the right and punish the absolute shit out of those motherfuckers. And that is exciting. We're going to have a good time. None of this miserable garbage. None of the Bernie burnout crap. You all are lucky. And this is the time, by the way, for you to tell your friends. Because you don't want them listening to all the boring, never-ending, blah, 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 Nate Silver, uh, blah, blah, polling this, polling that. Oh, no. Oh, what's that poll say? What's this poll say? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, the polls. Oh, the polls aren't looking good. Oh, God. Nope. You can tell them to tune in here. Where we'll be talking about real politics, real issues. We'll be actually fighting for a better world. <sighs> the vote harder sweaty season is on the horizon. Not for us, it isn't. You see, I've already dealt with all that crap. It's actually super easy as a based leftist, a based uh, su a super ascensionist, okay? We rise above electoral obsession, above electoral neuroticism, okay? You vote for fucking Joe Biden, okay? That's it. That's all you gotta do. Just vote for fucking Joe Biden. And then spend the rest of the time demolishing the conservatives at every opportunity that we have. This is the year that we go on the offensive. There's no real other answer besides cast a vote for Joe Biden. Okay? Cast a vote for Joe Biden and then we talk about actual politics. How do we fix the atrocious state of this country? Can we fix the atrocious state of this country? What can we do about it? How do we build real social connections? How do we build real political power? Oh yeah, Nate Silver got fired, but they'll find another one. They'll find a, a Nate Silver too. He'll be called like Jake Gold or something like that. Nate Silver was fired? Yeah, yeah, he was, but they'll find another one, like I said. Dave Copper, yeah. No thanks, Chank from 2016. I'll vote for whoever, probably Green Party. Okay. Go for it. If, if, if I'm sorry, but I, I hate to tell you this, but uh, okay, I'm gonna take a moment. This is it, this is the indulgence, okay? Party politics is a dead end, okay? All of it, all of party politics is a dead end, okay? You have to understand that. In America, you, you need to understand the structure uh, is a two-party structure. Until you make radical change to that structure, you will never elect anybody. Never. It, it is mathematically impossible that anybody other than a Democrat or a Republican gets elected in the current state of affairs. You do not understand. If you think that you're going to get some other third-party candidate... Oh, by the way, if you're if you're talking about primaries, vote for whoever the fuck you want in the primaries. I'll probably vote for Marianne Williamson in the primaries just because I think it's interesting. In the primaries, I don't give a shit. Whatever, I don't fucking care. We know the Joe Biden is obviously he's he's the he's the incumbent. He doesn't it doesn't matter. Yeah, go go for whoever you want in the primaries. But after that, it's first past the post. There is either going to be a Republican or a Democrat. That is a fact. I don't care what your political ideology is. That's just how it is. Okay? However, there's a whole bunch of other stuff that we can do in the meantime. There's a whole bunch of education, connection, network building, mutual aid, projects that we can engage in and, and do in real time. 
So we're not going to be wasting time arguing back and forth forever about, oh, Biden sucks, though. Yeah, Biden fucking sucks. And you know who sucks worse? Donald Trump. There you have it. It's that simple. Bernie is out of the Bernie is out of the uh, out of the race. He's not interested. OK, and the and the Democrats have not set anybody else up. There is nobody. OK, you have to understand this is going to be Biden versus Trump unless. OK, there is one nightmare scenario and I need you all to listen. OK. If either Donald Trump or Joe Biden kicks the bucket. It is going to get really, really weird, okay? It is going to get really, really weird really, really fast, okay? I need you to understand that. Mr. Misery says, you don't think DeSantis will get elected? Nope, I don't think DeSantis has a shot in hell. Not a chance. The only way that DeSantis has a shot at the presidency is if Donald Trump keels over. That's it. That's the only, literally the only way. And even then, I don't know that he'll be able to get, he'll be able to rally fast enough because too many people hate DeSantis. DeSantis, guys, hold on, let's just look. I, 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 I know I was just joking about the polling, but this, there's a good reason for this one, okay? Okay? Trump, according to, uh, according to the, more, the mo most recent morning consult poll of Republican voters. Trump has 56% support among the Re Republican Party. DeSantis is in second place with 23%. He controls, Trump controls alone over half the vote of the entire Republican Party. He has no fucking chance. DeSantis has no chance. And guess what? Donald Trump just got arrested and arraigned and his rating only went up he only got more popular it's actually deranged okay the true nightmare scenario though the true nightmare scenario is if biden passes away from old age if biden kicks the bucket it is going to get so bad so fast you guys have oh god that is so that is like the scary situation. Like, oh man, it's gonna be bad. Um, yeah. If Biden dies, I think Trump will win. It would be really bad. Which is something we need to think about and be ready in case it happens, okay? Seriously. I'm, I'm dead serious. This is where the actual message of this segment comes in, okay? It's a real possibility. Joe Biden is very old, okay? He's very old. COVID is still spreading all over the place, okay? Contrary to Joe Biden's uh, ending of the emergency declaration. COVID is still all over the place and people are still getting sick, even vaccinated people, okay? Joe Biden's really old. And if Joe Biden uh, gets sick or passes away from old age, there will be an immediate chaos. There is no one to replace him, which means there's a good chance that Donald Trump will take the, take the election. And if Donald Trump takes the election, that is very bad news because you have to remember that right now, all over the country, there is a insane assault on civil rights, okay? Especially fixating on trans people, but also on immigrants. The state of affairs in red states is what they want to bring to the national stage, okay? Do you remember what it was like in the last year of Donald Trump do you guys remember what it was like when Donald Trump was doing, uh, was using the feds to black bag protesters? Imagine that, but him never having to be afraid of getting reelected ever again. He can just go hog wild for four years and nobody can do anything to stop him. He has control of the Supreme Court. Nobody can do anything to stop him if he gets into power. I mean, 
nobody institutionally, okay? That's what I should, I should be clear. No one institutionally can stop him. The Supreme Court won't stop him. The House and Senate have already proven they don't have the ability to actually control Donald Trump. Which means we got to get a little, uh, a little illiberal. You got, if that's the case, if Donald Trump decides to try and use uh, unilateral power to force his world, his viewpoint on the entire country in an undemocratic fashion, well, let's get a little spicy. Let's let's show them what liberation really looks like. But in order to do that, we have to be paying attention right now. We have to be ready right now. This is why I've been hammering so hard for so long on things like learning about mutual aid networks, getting connected to other people, building strong interpersonal political relationships, getting, uh, getting yourself armed and, uh, and well trained in your firearms, as is your second amendment right. Training yourself uh, in things like um, stop the bleed, Becoming familiar with the uh, deranged tactics that the police are using to suppress free speech these days. Getting safe. Getting out of red states that are going to collapse under Trump faster than you could possibly imagine into complete tyranny. A lot of the protections that we take for granted have already been stripped. Keep in mind, Roe v. Wade is gone. They, are, they have used a hijack of the Supreme Court to be able to force us back in time. Let's be serious. I'm not saying you gotta devote your whole life to politics, that's ridiculous. All I'm saying is keep it in your mind, become active, accept the fact that you wanna connect with people politically that we need to start now before the election season begins, that we need to start building things now while we can. Take good care of each other. Connect with one another.